Do you love it when your home smells like delicious food? I know that I do, and by food, I mean desserts. Fall is the perfect time of year to get burning some of our favorite gourmand candles. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite gourmand scents from Homeworks. Homeworks Candles launched a lot of their new holiday scents last week, and so to celebrate that special event, they are hosting a Home for the Holidays sale, or savings event, I guess is what a lot of brands are trying to call it these days. As part of that sale, they have not only a lot of their new traditionally Christmas type of scents included in that sale, meaning like tree scents and a lot of um, like holly and berry, you know, that kind of stuff going on, they have also decided to include a lot of their gourmand fragrances. So what are the details of this sale? Many of their four wick 18 ounce candles are on sale, two for $44. Now each one of those normally retail for $30. So that takes them down to about $22 a piece. Plus you can still use a lot of influencer discount codes to save an additional 10% off over $40. In addition to that, their small three wick candles are also two for 20 right now. So because this sale has been going on for almost a week now, some things are starting to go out of stock, as can be expected. So in today's video, what I wanted to do was I took a look at the website and said, okay, let's look at the gourmand scents. I have a feeling I'm gonna get to the tree scents in another video, but let's go ahead and take a look at the gourmand scents. And I wanted to rank the ones that are in stock and that I have personally smelled. Spoiler alert, you might wanna be subscribed to my channel because I do have some of the new releases on their way and you better believe that I will film a haul video letting you know what my first impressions are of those. But for today, we are going to be talking about the candles that I have personally burned, personally smelled, and how do they stack up for me? So if that is something that interests you, let's get into it. Coming in at number eight, which will be to no surprise if any of you have been around since the beginning of my channel and have watched some of my candle reviews, is Strawberry Glazed Cupcake. If you love strawberry scents, you're probably going to like this one. I personally have just concluded that a lot of strawberry scents just are not for me. The scent notes on this one are sweet strawberries, vanilla cupcake, coconut cream, and whipped buttercream. Now, to be honest with you, when I ordered this candle, gosh, when did this release? Way back in February, maybe. The note that interested me the most was that little bit of coconut cream in there because I do typically like coconut scents. Um, but that one, it just was not for me. I didn't smell any kind of coconut in there. I did smell strawberry for sure. I did smell cake. But it's been a while since that candle has been in my collection, so if you want my further thoughts about it, I will have it linked in the card up above um, or in the description box down below, and you can feel free to check out a further in-depth review of that candle. All right, coming in at number seven, I feel like um, some people might come for me with this one, but please don't. Uh, coming in at number seven is Praline Pecan. Now the scent notes on this one are pecan, creamy toffee, whipped vanilla, almond butter. Also, I think I just give away that I come from the West Coast because I pronounce it pecan instead of pecan. I don't know, I know that there's two schools of thoughts about how to pronounce that. I have always pronounced it pecan. Anyways, praline pecan. I ordered that one last year when it was first released. I believe I got it in a duo from QBC. And to be honest with you, it was very intense for me, like almost, sickeningly sweet for my taste. Um, I just didn't care for it. I burned one of them and I believe that I ended up selling off the other one um, or maybe giving it away. I can't remember. I just know that it did not stay in my collection for a very long time. So that one comes in at number seven for me. I do believe that if you are somebody that likes that authentic um, like praline or uh, nutty type of flavors, then you might like that one. But if you are somebody that does not like overly aggressively sweet scents, I would caution you to stay away from that one. Just wanted to let you know that if you hear any extra noises going on in the background today, I have my son home from school. He is on fall break. He's actually sitting right here off to the left of me because he's watching, he's watching me on um, a mirror 
my phone to our television set. So that way I, that's kind of like my viewfinder. Anyways, if you hear some extra noise and you may have also seen my cat Ruby make an appearance in the background, you're just getting to meet part of my family today. Coming in at number six is another candle that I was honestly a little bit surprised that they looped into the gourmand category and that is Fall Farm Stand. Now the scent notes on Fall Farm Stand are sugared, sugared, what does it say? My notes here, my eyes are getting old. Sugared Honeycrisp Apple, Golden Pear, Vanilla Bean, and Wildflower Honey. Now this candle is one that I still actually have in my collection because I was burning it earlier, um, I would say back in August a little bit more, and I still have some of it left because this one, um, I had a wick fall over <laughs> and I didn't catch it in time. This one was, I, I'm surprised that they call it a gourmand because to me when I think of gourmand, I think of bakery and I know that that's not really technically the definition of it, but in my mind, I think of a bakery note when I think of gourmand. And this one to me, there's no bakery note at all. This is very much that combination of pear, very sweet apple, definitely that honey note to it. Personally, I am a seasonal burner, so this is a candle that I enjoy usually when I am transitioning out of summer scents into fall scents. I actually did a whole video about that, and I believe that this one may have been included in it. I do like this scent, but the only reason I'm ranking it this low is because I don't believe that it is actually like a true gourmand in the sense of what I define that as. Coming in at number five is Glazed Honey Graham. Now the scent notes on this one are golden honey, rich caramel, graham cracker, and vanilla bean. And I do have this one currently in my collection. I haven't burned it a ton. This one's a little bit strange to me on, on when it burns. Um, on cold snip, I get genuine honey made graham cracker, you know, ready to make some s'mores and make a graham cracker crust. I like this one, but it's not one that I think that I will repurchase in the future. I don't know, maybe I will, but this is one that, it just smells a little bit different to me when it is burning. It's actually one that I am going to uh, plan to mix with one of the pumpkin candles I have in there. I want to say it's Autumn Pumpkin. It, that's not released this year. It's one that I had carried over from last year, but I, I like this scent, but not enough to be like, wow, I have to have it for me. Um, the honey and the caramel are not too sweet and overly cloying. Like, like I found that praline pecan to just be way too much for me. Like it was just, it was way too sweet. I don't find this one to be too sweet. This is a good mixer. So I feel like if you have another candle that maybe you're wanting to mix and um, kind of give that graham cracker note maybe you have like i'm thinking this one might go well with say like um if you have bath and body works marshmallow fireside or maybe i should try burning this with winter fireside um or maybe the chocolate birthday cake just something if you're really trying to um get a different vibe going in your house i just don't feel like this one on its own really hits the spot for me that's why it's number five Coming in at number four is a candle that I actually just did a dedicated review to, and that would be Harvest Donut. I will have that linked in the cards up above and in the description box down below. So if you are interested in my full thoughts about this candle, you can click on that. But the scent notes on this one are fresh pumpkin, donut accord, ginger, and clove. Now, a little bit of a spoiler alert if you haven't seen that video. Um, I don't detect pumpkin really in this one. What I do detect is the donut fried pastry note that Harry Slatkin does extremely well. In fact, I personally think he's probably the best in the business at capturing that. It's that freshly fried, oh goodness, like when you walk into a donut shop, that's what this is. Um, a little bit of that clove and ginger brings brings a little bit of spice to it. This one I do believe is in the family of hot cider donut and sugared beignets. So if you have been wanting to try either one of those, this one is definitely different than hot cider donut. Um, but in terms of that like fried donut note, they both have that accord. 
cord in them, and I also believe Sugared Beignets has it. If you have not been able to get your hands on either one of those, or maybe you found um, like hot cider donuts to just be too overwhelming, you might like this one because it's toned down a little bit more, and um, I really enjoy it. As you can see, I am almost done with this one, and it has burned really well for me. So. Um, I would recommend this one, again, because sugared beignets and hot cider donut are both out of stock right now, so if you are looking for kind of that donut fix, give this one a try. Coming in at number three is a candle that I do not currently have in my collection, but I will be adding it back in come early spring, late winter, and that is Limoncello Cupcake. The scent notes on that one are Limoncello, Candied Lemons, Sparkling Sugar, and Vanilla. That one smells like a delicious lemon cupcake. Very, you get the tartness of lemons, but also that sweetness and that vanilla. Um, it's not like a cleaner lemon. I know that for some people, they hear lemon and they automatically think of like scrubbing your floors or like a freshly cleaned house. It is not, it's not that crisp lemon, uh, lemon cleaner scent. That's the only way that I can think of it. It's not an astringent type of note. It is very much a delicious lemon cake, um, but also that buttercream with the frosting. So it's, it, it's not as tart smelling. I really, really love that scent. Now, like I have said in several videos and probably earlier in this video, I am a very seasonal burner. So I personally won't be burning lemon during this time of year, but usually after the holidays, especially I actually start burning lemon um, in January because I live in Arizona, if you are new to my channel. So we have very mild winters and usually by the end of January, early February, sometimes we are getting days where it's about 75 degrees outside and I have the windows open. And so to me, I want that fresh feel, um, but I'm not yet quite ready to let go of the gourmand. That is a perfect candle for um, those of you who love lemon. Coming in at number two is blueberry pumpkin waffles. The scent notes on this one are blueberry, pumpkin, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and vanilla bean. Now, if you have not had time to watch that video yet, I would highly encourage you to go and look at my in-depth review of it. The notes on this one might scare you off if you think like, oh, I'm so tired of pumpkin. I don't wanna smell any more pumpkin. I don't really smell pumpkin in this one. Maybe it does lend to some of the warmth. Anybody who has smelled this, um, or like the general consensus on cold sniff is that this one smells like Captain Crunch Berries, if you are familiar with that cereal. I have been burning it almost every single morning. I am getting very low on this. Um, it's burning pretty well for me. You can see all of that in my in-depth review, but this one, Ooh, I'm just going to give you a spoiler alert. I did order another one during this sale because I really, really love this scent. I think that this is a good year round scent. I don't necessarily like put it in the box of this being a traditionally fall scent. I think it's a good morning scent. Um, you know, maybe I'm getting even weirder. We're like, okay, now we're gonna look at the specific times of day. Who knows? Um, but I've really been enjoying this one in the morning. As this one warms up, it it's not really a cereal scent, and I covered that in the in-depth video. This I wouldn't say it's a cereal scent. This has a level of warmth to it, like um, fresh waffles that uh, your house gets when you've been making waffles, that, that note in it. So it's very, very good, burning very well for me, would highly recommend it. So do any of you have any guesses as to what number one is going to be? Who took the top spot? Why is this one in the top spot? Drum roll, please. All right, the number one spot goes to Spun Vanilla Sugar. The scent notes on this one are spun sugar, whipped cream, sugared lemon, and vanilla. You hear that and you think, okay, that doesn't sound like anything fantastic. Let me tell you, this is fantastic. I have had this candle in my collection, I think since I discovered Homeworks candles. Um, my, my quote unquote gateway candle to the world of Homeworks was Winter Fireside, love that one. Um, but I believe that I bought this one, not this exact candle, but I bought this scent maybe two months after I had bought that one. And I typically like to burn this one 
post holidays. So usually in January when I am tired of all of the heavy spices and the tree notes and um, this is a perfect scent because like I just said, you know, I I'm craving a little bit of lemon. I do detect a little bit of lemon in this one, but again, it's it's not even a strong lemon like uh, the Limoncello Cupcake. I, I wouldn't describe this as a lemon candle. This is blended very well with that spun sugar. Um, if you've ever smelled spun sugar, that that is definitely an authentic note in here. There's almost like a butteriness to the sugar. Um, there's like sugar crystals. It's kind of, I'm having a hard time explaining it, but I, I will tell you that this one is very good and it does not get overly sweet to my nose. Now I know that some people in the Homeworks group on Facebook have said that it was just too sweet for them. I personally haven't had that experience, um, but all of our noses are different. But this one I love because I don't think that this is necessarily a particular season type of candle, which really when I'm looking at quite a few of these, I mean like there's some of them, I think like praline pecan would be pretty seasonal. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe limoncello cupcake. I feel like that's, that's just me personally. Um, but this one is really good. I think year round. Oh, I really like this one. I'm already thinking like, oh, I should light this up. But I'm like, no, no, resist. You know, you like this one in January the best. This one brings a warmth to your home, a coziness. Um, but it's not offensive. A lot of friends, when they have come into my home and they've smelled this one, they're like, ooh, your house smells really good right now, um, but it's not headache inducing or anything. I would highly, highly recommend this one. Um, and I believe that this is probably a very popular one because I do know that when Homeworks released those huge Lux candles a few months ago, I got a visitor in the background there. Oh, the cat. Do you need to go? You can go through, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> Just looking for the magic tape. I'm making a brick band named Toad. Okay, I can get you the tape when I'm done, okay? Okay. All right. I don't want to use the, the, the tape, the other one, because I don't want to disturb you. Okay, that's fine. A glimpse into my life. I've got a film, but I've still got to be mama. Um, but what was I saying about this one? This one, I feel like it's just a beautiful scent. Um, oh, I was going to say when they released those huge Lux candles a few months ago, this was one of the scent offerings. Um, I believe that those are currently still out of stock, but I've seen teasings that they might be coming back. Um, but this one is a beautiful scent. I love it. Would highly, highly recommend that you pick it up, especially if you are somebody that does not want anything that is, um, overly pumpkin or you're tired of pumpkin and apple and whatnot, pick it up. You won't regret it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out as I am seeking to grow my channel. I've only been on YouTube a little bit less than a year, so you know that these opinions that I am giving you truly are my own. Nobody is paying me to say them. This is just something that I truly enjoy. I cover home fragrance, a lot of homework scandals here, um, but I do also dip my toe into some Kringle, and I also like to share some beauty content with you. So if that sounds appealing to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. If you really like candle content, I just want to let you know that I do have more Hallmarks candles on their way to me as I speak. They should be here next week and I will be filming a haul on that. I've got some of the new Christmas scents that they have released. I also am planning to do maybe some um, videos around some of my favorite tree scents or maybe like woody nature scents. So Again, make sure you're subscribed because you'll want to hear my thoughts on that. YouTube should be suggesting some other videos at the end of this one if you would like to stick around and watch some more. But if you don't have the time, I just want to say thank you so much for spending what time you had today with me. Until my next video, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.